How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and instead of doing one of the regular team rebuilds I decided to go with a fantasy draft because I don't think I've seen anybody do fantasy drafts here on NBA 2K17 just yet and so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna pick my Chicago Bulls and we'll see what number pick we have. Of course we put everything on Serpentine and we're gonna get to drafting and we ended up with a terrible pick. We always end up with a terrible pick. So the 21st pick go to us so we can pick between DeMar DeRozan and Blake Griffin before we even make one pick. I want to say that every pick that I make is based on my own preference. So uh, don't be in the comment section trying to fry me because I'm not picking a player you think is the best available. Now, I did want to get um, I wanted to get Carl Anthony Towns, but he went eighth, dude. This guy's going to be a monster this year, I'm telling you. So he went eighth. So I think I'm going to go DeMar DeRozan with this first pick. And he just got a nice deal, so we didn't got to worry about him walking in free agency like we would have got with Blake Griffin. So second pick, um, the way I try to do fantasy drafts, I try to go like guard, big, you know, t that type of way so I can keep a nice balance between my guards and my big. Speaking of a, a big contracts, Hassan Whiteside, welcome to the team. So we got two nice defensive stoppers there. Uh, see what else we can get later in these rounds. I would like a point guard. Derrick Rose? Should I get Derrick Rose? I don't know. Okay. My my audience is saying don't get Derrick Rose. So, um, let's go small four. Who's there? Chela Parsons, Nicholas Batum, Luau Deng. All these guys, like, all these guys just got huge contracts. And that's scary. So, we're going to avoid that. How about the power four position? Thaddeus Young is a nice pickup. Surge, but he's on a one-year deal right now. Ryan Anderson, I think he got paid like $20 million a year, which is crazy. But I don't see contracts, so maybe the contracts don't matter right now. So maybe, I'm just going to draft the team, man. I'm not seeing contracts anywhere. So maybe that's something different. I know my audience said don't pick Derrick Rose, but I, I, I picked him. I picked him. And um, So let's see. Kent Bazemore. I would like, if we're going to go with a small four, I would like to get a small four that I know can score the ball. Kent Bazemore may not be there just yet. So let's go power forward, and we're going to go stretch and go Ryan Anderson. Okay, I'm liking my team so far. But th then again, you know, it's all about the rebuild. So these players probably won't even be on our team in a couple minutes here. So next pick, I do, again, I do want to go with somebody that can score the ball a little bit. And you know who can? Iso Joe. I know he's 35, but he's still got a little bit in him. So we'll pick him up. And now we're at six man. Evan Turner would be a nice player. But if I pick Evan Turner, oh, six man. The ultimate six man. He's also 30 plus, so... We did just draft two back-to-back -back pretty old guys, but I think it'll be fine in the long run. Jeremy Lin is a nice pickup there. I didn't even look at anybody else, but we're just trying to get through this draft pretty fast. Again, because most of these guys probably won't be here in a little bit. So Demo is my next pick. I'm probably going to go center with the next one because all the centers are kind of running out right now. So I do like... Oh, let's get Boban. I didn't even think about that twice. Boban, shout out to CSB. That's um, Boban is his guy. So small forward, and then we could just pretty much auto draft the rest. I would like to get Omri Caspi because for some reason you guys love Omri Caspi, and then we're gonna let the assistant GM do the rest. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so let's take a look at our rotation here. Derrick Rose is back with the Bulls, which is feels good to say. He's wearing the number. 25 all right because that's what he's wearing in memphis right now i mean not in memphis but in new york right now he played he wore it in memphis too demar derozan joe johnson i like my team a lot man i don't think we're gonna win a championship but i like it they pick up nikola pekovic which is not too bad i'm surprised he was even there in the 11th 12th and 13th round Corey brewer and then marcel is worth this so for year number one um actually let's look at contracts because we didn't actually get those options but it is the regular contracts what they signed this offseason okay so Derrick Rose is going to be a free agent this year. So uh, he's very loyal. So maybe we'll bring him back. We'll see. I'm going to simulate to the All-Star break. And then we'll probably make trades or maybe not. Depending on how good certain players are. Derrick Rose may be on the move. But he's extremely loyal. So he may stay. All right. At the All-Star break, the team is looking really good. Second in conference at 36 and 21. Wow. So somebody on our team has to be doing pretty good. It, it may be Derrick Rose trying to get that big contract this offseason. So let's look at our stats here. Derrick Rose is averaging about 19 points, six and a half rebound or assists. That's up from pretty much his last years, his last couple years. And he's played 57 games, which is the most on the team. So Derrick Rose may have to stay around. Hassan Whiteside's out, twisted his right knee. But look at the numbers here. Everybody's playing really good. And I was thinking about it. I thought about trying to make trades right now. But the team is doing so good that I don't know if I should, man. Nikola Pekovic is not really doing much. 
he's only getting like 17 minutes but even in those 17 minutes he's not providing as much as i would like him to boban's getting 20 minutes but his numbers i mean we look at boban to get boards we're not looking at him to give uh points so that's not too bad let's try to make a trade man i'm just gonna you know test the waters a little bit not gonna trade any of our big pieces of course because if, if we're playing well together i don't even know where to go oh, front office did we pat i passed the trade that line I passed trade that line. Okay, so we're not doing any trades. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I, I want to see if Derrick Rose is an all-star. Can you imagine if he got back to the all-star game? DeMar DeRozan did, but Derrick Rose did not. All right, so I'm just going to continue to simulate since we can't make trades. And then in the offseason, if we... I mean, we may win a championship this first year. It's possible. I don't think it's going to happen, but it's definitely possible. And then if we don't, then we'll make those trades that we need. James Harden is back in OKC, and he wins MVP. Good for James Harden. Ricky of the Year goes to Ben Simmons in Cleveland. Six Man goes to Joe Kim Noah. Paul George wins Defensive Player of the Year. Most Improved goes to D. Loden, a.k.a. D'Angelo Russell. Coach of the Year goes to Billy Donovan. All right. So let's see if anybody on our team made any of the All-NBA teams. There we go. DeMar DeRozan, All-NBA second team. Anybody else is in there? No. Okay. So we did finish with the third best record in the East. We fell off just a little bit, finished at 49 and 33. So that's that's not bad at all, but it wasn't as good as we started. Uh, let me show you guys the standings by conference. We were just one game behind Boston, four games behind the number one seed, New York Knicks. First round, we're going against the Milwaukee Bucks. So division rival right here. So hopefully we can get out of here with a victory. 1-1 one, one right now. Come on, a couple more games and we're good. That's one more. All right, so we're going to the second round against the Indiana Pacers, another division rival. So let's see how this goes. We win game one. We lose game two. Okay, we got to come back. We, game five. Oh, man, this is the most important game. Okay, we win it. Two more games, boys, and we get eliminated. All right, so we got eliminated in the second round. So no championship year number one, but we still got a couple more years. And the L.A. Lakers win a championship with Paul Millsap leading the way. Can we take a look at that box score? Um, Paul Millsap, Tony Parker. Yo, this team is bad. I don't understand how they won a championship when it gets Kyrie Irving, J.R. Smith, Stephen Adams. That team looks stacked, but they lost. So um, the seven seed got all the way to the championship. So we're going to go into the NBA draft, make some trades, and make this team better. All right, so here we are in the draft. So let me see how many players. We got a lot of players in the contract right now. Um, Jamal Crawford is 37, and I know he's going to get worse. So let's try to trade Jamal Crawford. And see if we can get another guy to come off our bench that's pretty good. That That's a nice trade. Lou Will won six men of the year a couple years ago. Matthew Della Vadova is a solid backup. So we'll come back to that. Eric Gordon is a nice pickup too. And we also get a first rounder if we do that trade. And Eric Gordon is a little bit younger than Lou Will. Um, but we're not getting offered anything much, you know, anything other than that. Sean Livingston. Tyler Johnson, that's a, okay. Oh, we don't need that, though. Even though that trade looks good, we don't need that because we got Hassan Whiteside down low. So let's go do that one trade. What trade did we see there? The Eric Gordon trade. I want that first-round pick in exchange, so that's the trade we're going to do. I also want to trade Joe Johnson because, again, he's also pretty old, and I know he's going to regress a little bit. But he healed. Wow. We'll probably do that trade considering he'll probably get a bunch better after this season. So Buddy healed. Welcome to the team. So what else can we do? Um... Any extreme amount of money I would like to just get rid of. And that's an extreme contract, DeMar DeRozan. I know you might start player right now, but we can... No, no trades found. Because I think I got him under untouchable, so we can't trade him right now. That Ryan Anderson's contract is pretty big now that I'm looking at it. When I drafted him, I didn't know... He, well, he's making about 20 mil. I did know that. But if we threw in some picks, man. Tyreek Evans... This is a nice trade. Chris Middleton and Al Jefferson upgrading two positions, a backup point guard and Reggie Jackson. I guess Reggie Jackson could start over Derrick Rose. Oh, Derrick Rose is actually a free agent right now. So maybe we should be looking to get another point guard just in case Derrick Rose decides that he doesn't want to come back, even though he did say he was extremely loyal. Um, Nikola Pekovic is making 11 mil, which is not too bad. Boban's, Boban's contract is really low. He's making 7 mil for two years. Let's, let's actually, I'm going to try to work something out with Ryan Anderson. Just because 
That contract's huge, and I feel like I, I like this trade, man. I may do this Chris Middleton trade, but then again, that'll have that'll make us with one four shooting guards. But I could tr make Chris Middleton a small forward. I've had Jay Crowder in two videos already since 2K17 has come out, so I don't want to do that one again. So let's do this one, the Al Jefferson trade. And now we got more big, so Boban. Oh, I know we're we're doing a lot of flipping, but I'm expecting that year number two is the year we win a championship. So I'm trying to build for that. So let's see what else is there. Um, not much. I mean, I can make these trades to pick up more draft picks for the future. Let's see. How about we trade Pekovic? Because Boban can stay, actually. Be a third string center. I think he'll do pretty good in that role. So Nikola. We could pick up Rondo. I don't think we want to do that. Let's take away one of those first rounders. Denny Green and Kendrick Perkins. That'll add another shooting guard to the mix. Marcus Morris is not a bad pickup. Or Matthew Dellavedova. That's not a bad pickup either. So maybe we'll go with Matthew Dellavedova. Unless I see another point guard out there. That's Sean Levinson. Nah, he's, he's getting up there in age too. I think he's going to regress. So let's do this Matthew Dellavedova trade before. You know what? Forget it. We're not going to make any trades. If we do make a trade, we could do it in the beginning of the next, se next season. Let's just see what the free agency is looking like. Let's see if we can bring back Derrick Rose before we do any more trades or anything. So I'll see you guys in free agency. All right, so here's player progression. More like player regression, because a lot of our players got a little bit worse. Derrick Rose, we were able to keep on the team, um, but he's also injured right now, which is not too good. We got a surplus of uh, shooting guards, which is not too bad, because I'm probably going to make Chris Middleton our starting small forward, because, I mean, he could play that position. And right now, our best small forward is Omri Caspi and Corey Brewer, and that, that's just not going to cut it. And then with the power forward position, I'm thinking about making Al Jefferson my power forward because he has the ability to make the mid-range jumper. And then we can disguise him because he's playing alongside Hassan Whiteside, who's like a defensive monster, when Al Jefferson's not that great at defense. So that's the plan right now. We're going to change their position, and then we're going to get to some games, and I'll see you guys at All-Star break. Um, I saw this trade, and it's kind of hard to pass up on. I know Buddy Hill is a nice up-and-coming player, but we're trying to win a championship right here, right now. Buddy healed a first round of Jeremy Lin for Isaiah Thomas and Dario Saric. People tell me I say that wrong, but it is what it is, man. That's the trade we're doing. The reason I like that trade a lot because right now Al Jefferson is the only power forward we have in a rotation, and now Dario may even take his starting position. But now, yes, we have Derrick Rose and Isaiah Thomas. So either we may trade Derrick Rose or just slide him to that backup. Actually, he's not even having a really good season right now. So we'll try to trade him, throw in two first rounders. I mean, I'm sure we can get something for him. He He's not completely trash. We could pick up Zach, um, Zach Levine, which would be not too bad. Tyreek Evans is there. Wow. Yo, dude, we could pick, pick up Miles Turner and Reggie Jackson. Upgrade both of our positions right there. So that may be the deal. That may be, that's, that's hard to pass up on, dude. That's way too hard to pass up on. So I think that's going to be the one we do. So now our bench depth is like ridiculous now. So let's take a look at the rotation now. Isaiah Thomas, DeMar DeRozan, Chris Middleton, Dario, Hassan Whiteside, Reggie Jackson, Miles Turner. Now Al Jefferson, who's like dead tired, could come off the bench and, and he don't have to worry about playing those heavy minutes. And I also want Eric Gordon in the rotation. So let me make it like this. Actually, let's make it a 10-man rotation. And now Eric Gordon and Boban can both get minutes. And I like our team so much that I'm thinking we're winning a championship this year. All around, there's no team better. Um, actually, we were playing pretty good before I even made those trades. So maybe I shouldn't have made them. But I just think this will uh, help us better down the line. We're sitting at 36-17. and 17, Best record in the East. Not in the West. In the West, um, Memphis is out there doing their thing. So that may be the team we go against in the championship. So I'm going to continue to simulate. And I'll see you guys in the playoffs. MVP goes to Russell Westbrook. This guy wins Rookie of the Year. Six Man of the Year goes to Joe Kim Noah for the second year in a row. Defense Player of the Year goes to Anthony Davis. And Nikola Jokic wins Most Improved. And our boy, Fred Hoiberg, wins Coach of the Year. So you can see our record. We finished at 57-25. and 25, First in the conference. First in the power rankings. Um, so we're doing pretty good. See if we have anybody from our team to make the All-NBA teams. Last time we had DeMar DeRozan, but this time, nobody. They, they disrespecting us, man. They disrespected us because we have the best record in the East. I don't know if we had the best record in the league. We can take a look at that here. Yes, we did. Okay. Minnesota. 
well not Minnesota, um, Memphis was just a little bit behind us, but we still had the best record. So first round should be a breeze against Atlanta. So let's just simulate that. I don't know if actually, let's see if we have any injuries. I haven't even checked that because injuries could kill us. Boban is injured, only out one or two weeks though. We should get out of this first round, no problem. And then he'll come back to the rotation. So in five games we win. Washington, that should be another sweep, or not sweep, but another easy one. They took two games from us pretty early. I was kind of afraid there. But okay, it's a rematch from last year. They beat us this last year. So let's see if we can come back. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, e oh okay, they took a game. There we go. We're in the championship, boys. Chicago is back at it. Against Dallas, the sixth seed made it all the way this far. Oh, DeMar DeRozan is injured. And Dario's injured. That's not good. Dallas, let's see who they have. They got Jimmy Butler. Okay. Jimmy Butler, and they keep their, their franchise player, Dirk, Brandon Knight, Marcin Gortat, Evan Turner. I like our team better. Even with the injuries, I like our team better. So game one, yes. No, not in game two. Game three is a win. All right, we're going for the Simcast, guys. Hopefully, I can stop on, in time. Last time, I didn't, so let's see. Can we win the championship right here? And what is this, game five or game six? I'm not too sure. But either way, hopefully, we can win it. It's getting close. Okay, slow it down. We're only up by two right now. Four. It's a tie game. Let's make it super slow. Slow is. We win overtime. Okay. Speed it up a little bit. I'm scared. I don't want to miss it again this time. I'm jumping in with 17 seconds left. We're up by five. Let's get into it. All right, so we're jumping in here. Got to make our free throws, and we should be all good to win this championship. If we just make our free throws, we're good. And um, who's a good free throw shooter? Isaiah Thomas should be a solid free throw shooter at least. He may not be the best, but I, I feel like he's better than DeMar DeRozan. I could be wrong there, but I'm trusting Isaiah Thomas to close out this game. So let's give it to him. Let's let's try to prevent it. All right, so there's a foul. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. We won in overtime. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and it's over. The Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment and you talk about a defining moment this is it they have played so well together they deserve every ounce of this NBA championship moment and seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs what a joy I mean there is no better champion the league could have asked for and a pleasure here at 2k sports to be with you all season long good night everyone